Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? I want to talk about in this episode one of the coolest things that I've always found on this platform and just sharing stuff out on Instagram and any social medias, which is the concept of building a community or joining a community. Um, I really love that about collecting, especially. I feel like a lot of times hardcore collectors out there really just want to find and meet other people who are either into the similar stuff that they like or into something different but have that same level of passion that they have. And I'm certainly one of those types of people. And so is Blue, one of my alters. He is definitely all into watching other people just enjoy their hobbies, their passions. And even Purple actually will watch people on YouTube reacting to their favorite songs and things like that, which is something I do sometimes, but he really gets into it. And so that just seems to be an innate part of us that we just like people who have a deep passion for something, whether it's music, you know, film, anything, any form of art pretty much. You know, that's our kind of people. And what happened recently was something really cool. You know, we don't really do a lot of cards on this channel. We have done some before, but not a ton. Certainly not as much as we've been doing the new Moon Knight cards, that's for sure. <laughs> that's like next level for us. And it's introduced us to a lot of great people in the trading card community. And you saw us on Spidey Hits recently, and also Marvel Madness and Cool Cards. Like, everyone's been really nice about having us on and letting us share part of our story and talk to them and talk about the cards and talk about, you know, our passion for Moon Knight and things like that. And it's been amazing. And then they share their passions for Batman or other characters, Spider-Man. And it's been really, really cool. And some of those people that we've come across is actually the Gray Malkin family. So this is just like a special thank you video to them and also kind of make it part of the trading card stuff because I'm going to show footage of here of them opening up cards for us. So one of the things they do, the Gray Malkins, is if you buy a box of cards from them through their YouTube or their Twitch or their whatnot, however you decide to you know approach them, they are available on all platforms and you can purchase a box of cards if they have them in stock, obviously, and they'll open them for you and it gives them content but it also gives you that excitement of watching something happen right then and there with other people in the community reacting to it. And this is something Blue got really big into and I'm newer. I Probably the last like month or so, I've been watching some of these videos, but Blue goes back months and months watching these videos and learning about some of these folks. But the Gray Malkins were someone we recently came across while hunting for other people that were opening Moon Knight cards because they're not that many. If you go look on YouTube right now and you search, there's just like us and like maybe five or six other channels that opened up a box, but we certainly opened the most boxes on streams anyway, at least um, outside of the Gray Malkins and a couple other people who do it through whatnot. And so I want to just give the Gray Malkins a big shout out and say thank you for everything you've done for Blue and I. Um, we've had some great hits and pulls on your channel, and I'll show some of those off as we're talking. One of them in particular was really neat because the odds of it were just amazing. Uh, that's one of the things I liked about ordering from them and, and purchasing from them uh, that Blue also liked, which is the number thing. Like numbers are really big. We're into numerology and things like that. And one of the things is they opened up some boxes for us and the hits went like four hits in one box, five hits in the next box, six hits in the third box, five hits again in the fourth box and four in the final box. So it was like a palindrome. It went, you know, same forward and same backwards. It was pretty, pretty cool. And they also found while we were you know on their channel and they were opening boxes for us, there was the sky blue variants that come into some of the sets. You know, each box should typically have at least one sky blue parallel in it. And they had the number 53 on one of them. And then the very next box they opened, that sky blue was also number 53. What of character? What? what number was that light blue? That sky blue, was that also a 53? Well, I don't know. Did you guys just get matching numbers? Yes. You guys just got matching numbers on your blues. Let's go. I just really cool things like that that was happening on their channel. They also got us the heck of priest, which this card here, which is number 11, which is our lucky number. And so that was really cool that this was pulled on their channel. Uh, we also got some great metal cards on their channel as well. So very, very neat. But then also we had some stuff that they reached out to us and said, hey, we want to include this stuff. You know, and I was blown away by that because uh, they didn't have to add any additional gifts. And typically, if they came across like a unique card or an insert that we already had, we were just like, hey, you keep it or give it out as a prize. Because one of the things they do are these things called digi packs where you can spend like 40, 50 bucks, something like that, depending on what is offered. And what it'll do is it'll put you in the running. And it's kind of like a, a, a randomizer that puts your name along with other people. And each of you get a certain number of packs or a certain number of cards. 
um, as their opening boxes of, you know, Spider-Man or Moon Knight or Midnight Suns, and you'll get a number and it'll associate with that card. So if they pull a card with your number on it, then you get to keep that card. And that helps you when you get inserts, you know, it kind of makes things very random. And yeah, sometimes you could have a bad night and then some nights you might have a really good night. So for people like us, it's pretty great because there's still something to be won and something to make you feel like you got your money's worth. So I like that. And the Grey Malkins are very nice people. They're so, so kind. They ship really quickly. They, you know, package things really well. I cannot speak, you know, highly enough about the quality of their content and then also their shipping and everything. They really care for this hobby. They care for the cards. They care for the people in it. And that just made it all more special. And some of the stuff they gave us, because they knew we were Moon Knight fans and Mr. Knight fans especially, they sent us some of these Marvel beginning cards, which have Blade and Mr. Knight on them. And these are variants. So we got like black, blue, white, and red, which is kind of funny because all of these colors are in our system. Um, but this is just really cool. Uh, so this set is something, you know, we don't really collect a lot of cards. We don't have the money for it. We barely had enough money to do some of this Moon Knight stuff. Um, luckily, PayPal gave us a line of credit that helped. But we got to now, you know, chip away and pay that back. So we are selling stuff on eBay and, uh, you know, just full sets of Moon Knight, you know, and all that stuff. And the autograph we got of Khonshu. We're selling some of that stuff off because we just need to make some of that money back um, because we got what we wanted, which was an Oscar Isaac autograph. So very cool. And that should be coming in the mail soon from Steel City. Um, but again, like we know, we got a cool bronze Fist of Vengeance out of 10 card on the Grey Malkin stream. Really, really cool. This was card three out of 10. Um, then they also sent us other Moon Knight stuff, stuff like this cool anime Moon Knight card, which I didn't even know existed. <laughs> so that's really, really cool like an anime version of Moon Knight. Um, and then this cool Spellcraft Stories card, which features Moon Knight and Werewolf by Night. And this was an extra card they had. And they were just like, hey, you know what? You know, you did great. You donated some stuff to us. We want to give you something extra special in your shipment. And they put these cards in there too. So like I said, just a lot of love from them. And, and we have a lot of love for them because of that, because they gave us a place to connect. Uh, we, you know, this show Moon Knight is something that has been a bridge for us, for people to understand. Sometimes we'll say, hey, you know, if, because if, obviously people have questions when they meet us in real life or online, they'll hit us with a ton of questions naturally, right? Because you want to know how this works. I wanted to know how it worked when I first found out that I was part of a system. And so for that, you know, we have a show where we go, hey, you know, if we answer some of your questions, great. You know, Moon Knight is probably one of the more you know, empathetic approaches to a system being portrayed on movies or TVs, you know, that we've seen at least uh, in, in recent years. So please give that, a ch you know, check that out. I don't know if that'll help you understand it. It certainly helped me personally seek, understand what was happening to me a little bit better. Um, and then it gave me a foundation of understanding like, hey, okay, like it's not like movies typically portray things, which is, you know, there's someone evil inside of you who wants to do bad things. Like, that sometimes, I guess, happens in systems. But for us, other than the occasional secret, so, you know, one of us might keep from each other. For the most part, we try to, you know, all have positive goals and help each other now as we're going through therapy. And so this show has been a bridge for that because that's kind of the journey Stephen and Mark go on. They're kind of butt heads at the beginning. Stephen's struggling to understand what's happening to him. He gets the truth revealed to him. And then they start working like friends and brothers by the end. And that's kind of the point we're at now where we're trying to get to that working together part, uh, you know, and get better at it. So for that, this show has done wonders, um, but it also is just a cool show in general, you know, and I thought the cinematography and it was great. So from a writing standpoint, directing standpoint, I certainly love the show. I have some criticisms, of course, because that's the kind of brain I have as a writer and editor and stuff like that myself. But overall, I really enjoyed the show on that level, too. And so because of that, it became something that I loved on a creative level, an artistic level, and then also something on a personal level for me. So having being a part of this community is great that Moon Knight brought us into this community and helped us meet people like Spidey Hits and Marvel Madness MCU, Cool Cards, and now the Grey Malkins. You know, it's been really amazing. So please go check them out. I'm going to put a link to all their stuff down below. I highly recommend watching them on Whatnot, on Twitch, on YouTube. You know, they're trying to expand and be on other things and, and see more chats. You know, they have a nice setup they have there. But sometimes, like, I'll be on YouTube and they might not get to my question right away. But they'll make up for it later. And that's why we end up getting whatnot. Because we one night we went on there and they just didn't see their YouTube chat. So we were like, all right, we'll go into whatnot. We'll download it. 
We'll hang out with these people. We'll watch them open up Midnight Suns cards and Moon Knight cards. And then from there, now we watch them on all platforms and they're amazing. And now that, you know, they're more aware of comments on all platforms because they have multiple screens and stuff set up now as they're, you know, expanding their universe and, and kind of their brand. So please, you know, if you want to order cards or you like that approach like Blue does where you want to see people open your packs for you, definitely give Gray Malkin Gaming a chance, you know, give them a try. They're amazing. Like I said, the quality there is top notch. They really care for the cards and they'll spend time while they're opening the box to get to know you. And I thought that was really cool that they spent time getting to know Blue and I, and it's meant the world. And getting some of these pools that we've got have been amazing. And like I said, including this one of one printing plate, as someone who likes things, how, you know, seeing how things are made and stuff, to actually own a piece of the metal slates that made these cards, that to me is probably one of my favorite hits we got. I know Blue is ecstatic and over the moon for the Oscar Isaac, and I am too. That's a great autograph. But this is easily my very close second favorite card we got, and we got it through the Gray Malkin Gaming channel. So please go subscribe to them, go check them out, follow them, and if you can, make a purchase from them. They're amazing people, and I'm going to keep an eye out. There might be some cards coming up. We are a big fan of uh, the Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange movie. Obviously, we like the dark corners of Marvel, the Darkhold and Cthon especially, and both of those characters are, you know, the, the book and the character are mentioned in that movie, and Scarlet Witch plays a big part. So there's a lot of cool things we like about that movie, and we like some of the cinematography also because it's Sam Raimi, and I'm a big Sam Raimi fan. So you may or may not see more cards in the future on this channel because those cards are coming out very, very soon. So I got to quickly sell some of the stuff I have, pay off some of the debt we have, and maybe we can get a box or two of those. And hopefully we can order one through Grey Malkin Gaming. So yeah, and if you're wondering where the Grey Malkin name comes from, obviously if you're an X-Men fan or a Cable fan or anything like that, that should tell you where it comes from. But if you don't, if you don't know, uh, Grey Malkin Lane is where the X-Men's house is on, the X-Mansion. But also Grey Malkin is the name of Cable's ship in the X-Men uh, show and I think maybe the comic book as well. Um, so I always love that. And so that's cool that they are big fans of that character and they collect that character, you know, collect Cable stuff and X-Men stuff. So which makes them cool in my book. Anyone who's a fan of X-Men is okay with me. Even though I'm the Supernatural Corner of the Marvel Universe fan, you know, Wolverine and Gambit have shown up quite a few times in the Ghost Rider comic book to help fight the brood. So uh, that makes them okay with us for sure. We're X-Men fans here on this channel, definitely. And you might see some X-Men content coming up on this channel. You never know. And our next Moon Knight trading card episode is actually going to be our review, our full review of this set. We're going to go through all the cards, not every single one, obviously, but just the types of cards you can get in the set. I'll explain some things and it'll be more of like an informational guide thing. We'll talk a little bit about probably our diagnosis at certain times as well, but we're going to try to make a nice succinct 10 or 15 minute video for you where we do a full review and what you could possibly get in a case of these cards if you went out and bought a case because we would recommend if you're a Moon Knight fan you should definitely get these cards for sure unless you didn't really like the show which I understand some people didn't but for me I really did love the show and as someone who is in love with the show having this card set has been amazing and we have now a full set in sand thanks to the Grey Malkins so you're going to see more of that we're going to talk more about the Grey Malkins when we do our product review for sure along with Spidey and the other channels that we recently collabed with also. So thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.